Good morning. It's Monday, June 7th, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, A Thousand Years in Chains, and our scripture is Revelation chapter 20. Then I saw an angel coming down from heaven with a key to the bottomless pit and a heavy chain in his hand. He seized the dragon, that old serpent who is the devil, Satan, and bound him in chains for a thousand years. The angel threw him into the bottomless pit, which he then shut and locked, so Satan could not deceive the nations any more until the thousand years were finished. Afterward, he must be released for a little while. Then I saw thrones, and the people sitting on them had been given the authority to judge. And I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for their testimony about Jesus and for proclaiming the word of God. They had not worshipped the beast or his statue, nor accepted his mark on their foreheads or on their hands. They all came to life again, and they reigned with Christ for a thousand years. This is the first resurrection. The rest of the dead did not come back to life until the thousand years had ended. Blessed and holy are those who share in the first resurrection. For them, the second death holds no power, but they will be priests of God and of Christ and will reign with him a thousand years. One of the realities about the human soul is a sense of justice. That perceptive awareness reveals itself in art, theater, literature, and everyday life. Watching a movie or reading a book about an injustice done to the weak by the powerful, who among us doesn't long for the moment of retribution? We see the news stories about oppression of one group by another, actions by the strong, those in charge, to keep their power at the cost of another's freedom, and it rankles the hairs on the back of our necks. We long for justice and that which sets wrongs right. The revelation is placed at the end of Scripture's story of our history and future for a reason. It's apocalyptic, displaying what's prepared for all of God's creation. It's here we see what God has in store for those faithful to Him and those who reject His rule. For that second class, there is the second death, an eternal sentence of rejection from the presence of God. Biblical scholar William Barclay said of this passage, Every schoolboy studies his lesson not in the light of the lamp, but in the light of the coming holiday. The holiday, that which comes following the season of study and training with exams and final grades, is what illuminates the anticipation of a child's heart. Frankly, as a child, I lived for the final bell at the end of the school year. I could not wait for summer, a two-month lifetime of ball games, swimming in stump pond, and books gathering dust in the closet. These days, ball games and dips in a swamp give way to reading and study, and gladly. This scripture passage about God's angel binding Satan with chains for a thousand years is an event that satisfies justice. The serpent who deceived Eve in the garden is judged for that and all the other enticing of God's creatures into sin. But it's only prologue to the everlasting torment of final separation from God. As if a thousand years in solitary confinement were not enough, that's like the blink of an eye compared to eternity. And all the judgment that the devil will experience along with those who reject Christ is a second death. God's promise to those who choose to accept Christ's gracious gift of salvation is no fear. There will only be peace and joy and the justice of having every wrong set right, every tear wiped away, and every sorrow turned to singing. For you today, if you long for a time of complete righteous justice, you're longing for the coming kingdom. If you sometimes are a little nervous about what that might bring, hear this. For those who are born once, there will be a second death. For those who have been born twice, born again, there's a second life, and that is eternal. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. 
Have a blessed day.